Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be playing in some bleach, as you guys can see here. I have my BW2 bleach and my 20 volume developer, and I'm pretty sure you know this combination means we're going to be bleaching knots. We're actually going to be installing a 22 inch body weight lace wig, but the first step is going to be to grab three scoops of our BW bleach, which we pick up from Sally's, and gradually introduce a little bit of the 20 volume developer little by little. So we added a little bit mix it around definitely too chalky and we just add little by little until we get the consistency that we want you don't want to over pour and just pour tons right away because in that case you might make it a little bit too moist or loose but even if you do make it too loose you can always add an extra scoop or two of powder to kind of cancel it out the end result should just be a nice thick consistency not runny but not too cakey that it won't spread so pretty much that's what i'm doing here and it may not look like a lot, but three scoops always seems to be enough for me to spread around my entire lace without being too frugal. And this, my friends, is our masterpiece. She's a body wave, lace wig, transparent lace, 22 inches long and 180% density. She was sent to me by the company West Kiss. And this is what she looks like inside. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of free spray and kind of brush that in on the lace. Pretty much the hairline so that all the baby hair can pretty much be tamed to go the opposite way. Then I'm going to slide her onto my wig head. The reason I'm sliding it is because I don't want any of those baby hairs to go the opposite way. Because whatever is in the way when I add the bleach is going to get bleached. And we want this to be as flawless as we can possibly get it. So I am adding my wig head, or I'm sorry, my wig inside out to my wig head simply to make it easier to go ahead and bleach the knots without accidentally getting the bleach in the wrong places or over bleaching. And this just seems to be the most effective way. What you see me use are those T-pins. Those are the perfect, perfect, perfect combination or addition to your wig head just because they'll help you to be able to secure any wig whether it's inside or outside to your head to your wig and pretty much style even when you're like tweezing the hairline or styling you just make sure the wig does not move or fall off while I'm talking to you guys I'm also applying the bleach as soft as possible you definitely don't want to press it in if you happen to push too hard you definitely will press the bleach into the lace through the lace and it'll be like literally on the roots so you literally will have blonde roots and dark hair which is not cute or attractive by any means trust me I've done it quite a few times and it is easy to make that mistake just use a, t a soft touch and if you don't feel comfortable doing it on the wig head you can do it like I said before on the countertop and as you can also see I used every bit of the bleach so it worked out perfect this is what the hairline of the wig looks like when you first receive it. This was before I bleached the knots. They may have lightly bleached them, I don't know, but I think the, the knots were just really, really, really tiny. But I wanted it to be a little bit more flawless. So this wig fits me big. I'm assuming they sent me a size large because it fits me really, really, really big. And what I was showing you the best option to do is to add an elastic band and you'll be just fine. In this case, I did not add the elastic just because I've been trying to stay away from it as much as possible. But I am going to go ahead and cut off all the excess lace. All this lace here that I'm cutting now is pretty much what covers my entire ear. So I just want to make this a custom unit for myself by pretty much cutting all of the lace around the ear so that it sits perfectly to the frame of my face. Now that we're here, you can see this wig is going to be a beautiful install. They pre-plugged the heck out of this lace and it is literally perfect. It's not too overplugged, but it's also not the, you know, plug where it's pre-plugged, which you still have to do anything. You literally don't have to do anything. Also, if I did not mention, this is transparent lace. Transparent lace is very, very popular. Um, it's not my favorite. I feel like it is not brown girl friendly. If you have my complexion or deeper, you can see exactly what it looks like when applied. Off camera, I did install the wig just using my Gossipy Glued Spray. If you've never seen me do it before, then you probably have never watched my videos because pretty much 90, if not more, of my tutorials, I apply my wigs on camera. So just go back to my last few videos and you'll be able to see me do it there. Here I'm using a foam lotion to pretty much act as my edge control 
and pretty much souping baby hair as I see fit. And as you guys can see, it's probably a little bit confusing because you see all these little white spots. That is the transparent lace being transparent lace. It just does not blend with African American hair the way it will for someone who is maybe a lighter or fairer complexion. But it does act for an amazing base when you are pretty much adding powder. So you'll see how amazing my powder will look and how amazing this wig will look in the end. It's almost like when you use like a white um, like eye pencil as a base for your uh, colored like um, eyeshadows and it makes it pop more. Now we're going to style the length of the hair. On the left side, your left side, I had already styled it by pretty much just saturating the entire um, wig with water. I kind of brush that through and make sure the hair is completely detangled. Once it's completely damp and detangled, I'm going to go ahead and just add a foam lotion. The one I'm using today is by Nairobi and it's one of my favorites and I just kind of use my hands or even like a towel to go ahead and crinkle or scrunch the hair. The tricky thing about body wave hair is it's always a gorgeous texture when you first receive it. But you know once you wash it and condition it as I've done once I bleached the knots, it definitely sometimes will um, just go a little bit more straight with a slight wave. So I just scrunch it and allow it to dry and it will bring back some of the wave in its own way. But it definitely won't be as potent as it was before. Now that the wig is installed, the baby hair is done, I'm just going to go ahead and add a powder to the parting. And all the powder and everything I use is listed in the description bar. Also, I forgot to mention how long I left the bleach on. I left it on for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. I'll say 15 minutes because I did not want to over bleach and I took it off. I did check the lace before I rinsed it out and it definitely was not completely, like all the knots were not completely bleached. I was 100% okay with that because I just more so wanted the, the hairline and the parting to have a nice flawless, you know, install. And because the knots were so fine, I didn't need to bleach them all. Like I said, I just wanted it to be slightly bleached for a better and more flawless application. And as you guys can see, the powder is the perfect touch. It literally blends with my skin seamlessly. So make sure you check out the description bar for all the deets on what I used. Okay, so I am officially done. The hair was completely dry because I went and laid on my couch because I kind of got a little bit of dizzy with this belly and this baby bump. But this is what the hair looks like. I kind of came back and refreshed it just a little bit because I was gone longer than expected. But all I did was add a little bit of this Garnier for tea, sleek and shine. You guys know this is one of my favorite go-tos. And then I did add just a little bit more mousse at the ends because the ends pretty much dried faster than the rest of the hair. So it kind of just felt like it needed a little bit more moisture, which is usually the case, especially because the hair is so long. The deets on this hair is 22 inches in length, 150% density. It does have a little bit of layering where I kind of find like up here it's a little bit shorter. Then of course down here it is longer, so they naturally gave you a bang. As far as the baby hair and the hairline, I think I did awesome. I think it's melted. I haven't went back with a rat tail comb and kind of combed it out. I just kind of let left it there and I'll let it naturally lift. But you guys did say I use foam lotion and foam lotion normally, um, you kind of let it dry and set. And then once it sets, you can literally take the comb and kind of just tease it. Now this is a body wave texture wig and I did go ahead and slightly bleach the knots so you can't see as I've already added powder to the lace but I used a 20 volume developer which I pretty much never use I usually use a 30 or a 40 and I'm out of 30 and 40 which I didn't even know so I will use a 20 but I left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes normally if you use a 20 volume developer you need to go a little bit longer probably like 30 minutes I would say so I left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and when I came back and checked it I could see that majority of the knots were bleached along the hairline but within the lace and stuff like that there are definitely still knots that are not completely bleached and that is a hundred percent okay because I did not necessarily need them to completely bleach I just wanted to make sure the lace you know was a little bit more seamless and blend with my scalp and I think I did a great job 
let me know what you think but yeah I don't really have any complaints about the hair this one this install um, worked out amazing and it was super easy to do I love how full the hair is because it's been a while since I've had a nice long and full wig and they even did the layering for me now because I did bleach the knots and condition the hair um, the wavy texture did change from what was there naturally in the beginning so if you want to utilize the texture that it comes in naturally don't bleach your notch or co-wash it just go ahead and install and style and then later on you can switch over once ever, whenever it's time to wash the hair and yeah don't have any complaints about this wig hope you guys enjoyed her don't forget to check out west kiss you guys know i work with this company all the time Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.